Good morning, lovely. So welcome along to this week's episode of Sensitive Superstars and I am absolutely delighted to be sitting um, in the sunshine. It's still freaking cold, but I'm in the sunshine. So if we haven't met yet, I my name is Cara. I am the founder of the Sensitive Sisterhood. Uh, I, I totally believe that there is a movement happening where sensitive women are really stepping up in order to transform the world with kindness and compassion and love and empathy and um, while they are experiencing their soul desires now you may hear some background noise because i am sitting in the most beautiful park in manchester so there will be background noise to accompany this episode this morning so yeah i wanted to share really today about why self-care is so important i talk about this so much and i know a lot of people do and it's great because it is it's a really important topic and it's important because as a sense of women it took me a long time to understand what self-care actually meant what self-care what, what how self-care changed my like how it could change my life and then how to do that like how to actually make it a must and in this, um, I've just been doing some reading about the new moon and I don't know if you have been watching um, anything that's going on with the new moon right now and the eclipses that are happening, but there's a really powerful energy going on and it's all about planting seeds. And in order to do that, there has to be a total commitment to showing up and being your well-being warrior. So when I say being your well-being warrior, I mean just having the most fiercest boundaries about what makes you feel good what fills you up what lights you up and so I wanted to share like three really three simple ways and I say simple but they do they, you know things can be simple but take work right and um, that to make to make you to really make your your self-care supreme to really allow yourself to fully embody the the powerhouse that you are to really bring out all of who you are into the world and for you to really feel great so i want to talk first of all about what self-care means to you so if you're watching this i just want you to take a moment take a couple of deep breaths just really like allow yourself to come into this moment right now and ask yourself like right now where are you with self-care is it something that you're really good with but you want to take it to the next level or is self-care something that's really sporadic for you like you know it's good but you're just not doing it consistently or is it something that's a complete alien concept for you like it's something that you're like this is so far removed from my life right now and this is a really great place to make some distinctions so self-care is not well one it's not selfish and two it's not about the occasional pampering it's 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 really about what you do every day in order for you to feel connected to yourself to feel good about yourself to feel present to let go of stress to really understand um who you are and to treat yourself with the love and the compassion and the empathy that you want to bring out into the world so you need to show that to yourself first so the first thing is check in with yourself. What does self-care mean to you right now? Where are you at with self-care? And if you want to share in the comments, just like share, where are you at with self-care? What does it mean for you right now? What, what do you do for your self-care? So having a, having a really good idea of where you're at right now and where, and where you wanna be. And what does self-care mean for you right now? Does it mean does it mean really having a, a having a, having time every day for you so that you can do exactly what you want in that time or is there specific things that you want to be doing um you know around the times of your cycle and when you're feeling tired or when you're feeling really good so this is takes us on to the next part of this which is that your self-care and my self-care and somebody else's self-care are completely different because we're completely different women um, and also you know what what lights you up might not light me up and it might not light up the next next woman and that's the last they are from the wind this evening i'm going to be sharing in the sisterhood in the membership community that i run i'm going to be doing a session all about this um, and all about what 
what our self-care is right now and what we want it to be and, and having the accountability and support from each other so that um, we can make the changes that we want to make and understand like maybe like a few years ago self-care was going running but now you're in a different space that doesn't work for you that doesn't work for your life so you want to you want to switch it up so it's understanding who you are and what you want to be doing so for this the second step in this it's also really vital that you understand like where you're at in your cycle what i tend to do um at the you know at the start of my cycle will be very different to what i do at the end of the cycle for my self care and it's understanding that it's not one size fits all so for example with my practice it changes like at, when i'm in the spring of my practice then i want to do um i want to do a really energetic practice but as i get towards the end i want to do lots of meditation and, and lots of yoga nidra so i can relax and um and just and just be so it's understanding what what makes you feel good and what works with you with your body with your energy levels with your cycle so the third part is how do you make a must so maybe you're you're already quite good with your self-care but you know that there is way more you could be doing so what do you need to shift and change in order for that to happen and for me one of the I still do it now when I sit down on a Sunday um, and I'm reviewing my week that's gone and I'm setting my soul goals for the week ahead and I'm scheduling I'm looking at my planner and I'm scheduling the first thing that I'm looking at is what are where are the 30 minutes of self-care for me every day and do I need to write down in that time what it is I'm going to be doing and because I've got a really good connection with myself, with my cycle, um, I can, I can, uh, I can know, you know, what's going to really work for me that week. And um, but it also gives you the flexibility to be able to change it all around. You know, if you have a, have a day when actually you're really full of energy and you weren't expecting it, you don't have to stay tied to what you've scheduled. But if you know that you've carved out that thirty minutes and you've made it a must for you, then you know that you can, you've got that time. So it's like scheduling, or do you need to set reminders on your phone? Do you need to share with somebody who's really supportive? Do you need to um, hold yourself accountable? Um, do you need to ask for support? And this is a really big one. So just before I go, I again want you just to take a few really deep breaths and just ask yourself, like, where, are you, where am I not giving myself permission to experience the self, to experience self-care in a way that would be really, really amazing for me? So just like ask, ask yourself that question and just think, what, what needs to happen? Who do I need to ask for a bit more support? And generally, that is always the answer. It's usually... Who do I need to ask for some support? What do I need to let go of doing? And I, I absolutely know when I work with clients, I sit down and talk about this, I absolutely know that there is at least three things a day that, that take up your time that you do not need to be doing, that you could just stop doing or get somebody else to do instead. And I know you might be watching this, if, you're, if self-care is quite alien to you, you might be watching this and you're like, that is so, so not the case. Everything I do every day is exactly what I need to do. Well, sometimes you need to have a fresh perspective and you need somebody else to sit down with you and ask you some really open questions because we get stuck in our own heads and we think, well, this is what I need to do and this is how life is for me. But actually, when we, when we shift into a more open place of asking, well, do I really need to do this? Could somebody else do this for me? Is this the most effective and fruitful and joyful way that I could be spending my time? Um, and if not, let's let's drop it. Let's get somebody else to take to take care of this. So, I'd love to know your thoughts about how you're going to make your self care supreme. Um, very shortly, I'm going to be opening a free Facebook community um, for everybody who is um, part of this movement of sensitive women or who wants to be part of this movement for sensitive women. So, I'm going to share a link when I get that group open, and that's going to be a really a really um oh a really open space for you to be able to come in um and you know 
and step up as a sensitive woman but it's also going to be really safe and um, it's going to be a supportive space and you're going to get tips and techniques about how you work with your sensitivity we'll be talking about things like well-being warrior we'll be talking about your inner fear freaks we'll be talking about how you work with your cycle energy levels how the moon's affecting you um, and really how you are fully embodying your soul goals and living the desired life that, that you're here to live so i'll pop the link for that below and um, if you want to have a chat with me on a one-to-one -one basis about working with me either one-to-one -one or in the sisterhood if you really feel like you are ready to have a very supportive and transformational experience then i'll pop the link for um having a quick call with me in as well so loads of love have a beautiful beautiful brilliant day lots of love bye